Leicester All Stars. This is KY. Hi, I'm Molly from Stent. You're locked in Takeover Radio. Leicester's biggest radio station. Mate in Leicester. And now we've got Stu Crown in the studio. Yeah. Big up, Stu. Yeah, thank you. How are you? You doing good? You look fab. I love your jacket and all the badges and everything. You look amazing. You've got to promote your local team as well. with the Norwich City badge on there. All oh, right. Which is important. Norfolk born and bred, so... OK. Um, I've heard your music and it's absolutely fab. What genre of music do you play, though? I was a bit confused. It's kind of like... I guess it's kind of blues, you know? Like, when I first started writing, I, I wrote a lot of country kind of kind of songs and... And as when I moved to Leicester a year ago, I, I decided it'd be easier to to try and break into the blues kind of kind of genre, you know. And I'm writing some really good stuff at the minute, so I'm I'm kind of happy with it. I know. I remember I saw you in Fubar, wasn't it? It was, was it about a month ago. I think so. about about just over a month ago. Yeah. yeah amazing. I featured at the, work on that. Well, thank you. Yeah, that's Listering. Amazing. I never called myself a lead guitarist, you know. I'd, I've always been a rhythm guitarist, and that's just right. how it is. But it seems to be working for me. I think I'll stick with it, you know. <laughs> that was memorable. That was. Yeah. Nice. I think you were on your own then, as well. No, I, I did have my bass oh, player yeah. Dan Fraser Betts uh, with me, who should have been here today, but um, unforeseen circumstances, he's not. I hope he's listening though, and I hope he's feeling really bad about not being <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah, feel bad. Yeah. Feel bad. Um, where on earth did you get the name from the band from? I mean, did you come up with it? Like, uh, no, Bob? Dan did. Okay. Uh, I, I can't really remember. I think I think it was probably one of those Facebook conversations, and yeah. uh, he just kind of said, "Well, how about the Bobcats?" And to me, a name's not all important, you know. It's more about the music for me. So I kind of just said, "Yeah, whatever," you know. It was going to be Rufus Trey and the Bobcats. Uh, Rufus Trey's like my stage name, I suppose. But all my okay. stuff online's as Stu Crown, so I thought it was kind of stupid to put a new name to it. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been performing for? Uh, oh, probably about ten years now, I think. Wow. Yeah, about ten wow. years. Ten uh, years. Yeah. Has like it been I good? Saying, I've, I've done more work in Leicester in the last year than I have in the last ten years in, in Norfolk, you know. It's been really good to me. Okay. Um, like, obviously, you, you said that you wrote, you listen to a lot of country and sort yeah, of blues yeah. and stuff. Um, who, what is your inspiration? Is it someone that didn't do country or anything like that? Or? No, no, kind of the blues, the big blues artists, really. Massive Rory Gallagher fan. B.B. Uh, King. Don't know who they are. Uh, you They're should listen old. to them. They're fantastic. <laughs> Rory Gallagher's one of the one of the, the best blues musicians that never really got the credit he deserved. Uh, okay. but yeah, all the kind of greats, you know. I think of Dire Straits as well, and Eric Clapton, all that kind of stuff, all the good stuff. Is that why you like them? Because of their genre of music. Why why were they in y- your inspiration? Well, I don't know. The blues is something that you know. The blues is something that's really accessible. Whether you're feeling like sad or you're feeling happy or or you want to just a little pick me up, you know. And uh, I think when you can put like life experience through songs and make other people enjoy them and kind of liven up someone's day, I think that's really nice, you know. For me, the blues is is everything. You know, I ain't much good at nothing else, so <laughs> I kind of just stick with the blues. I think. Okay, we'll be having your acoustic after the break. Yeah, great. Made in Leicester on Takeover Radio. Sometimes I get these thoughts in my head Whilst you're still sleeping stretched across my bed That I cannot give you what you deserve I ain't got much money or voice to be heard I cannot leave, I got no place to go Except to her arms and they in my home I try and I keep these things under control Get you out of my head Take it out on me. Don't you take it out on me. What 
watch myself watch myself break into yeah and I always said sometimes I think that I'd be much better off dead Guess I'll have to paint the town blue. Well, I won't compromise just for your happiness. The fact I can solve this mess of a head that I have to carry And sometimes it shows it's not easy to hide But then I don't disclose that I gotta stay strong Selfish if you please, it may not be brave And sometimes cowardly like a leaf on a river Or the wind in the trees, gotta keep moving Moving just to make you happy Don't you take it out on me Don't you take it out on me Don't you take it out on me Watch myself Watch myself Yeah, and I always said Sometimes I think that I'd be much better off dead Oh, and sometimes I knew Well, I'm all out of red So I guess I'll have to paint the town This is KY. Hi, I'm Molly from Stent. You're locked into Takeover Radio. Leicester's biggest radio station. Mate in Leicester. Yay, back in the studio. With Stu Crown, minus his Bobcats. Yeah, yeah and you're going to be performing, performing a song for us, aren't you? Yeah. I'm yeah. very excited. What is it called? It's called uh, I Don't Want Nobody Talking to You. Um, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's for everybody who's, uh, who's ever got a bit jealous or. You know, a girlfriend or a husband or, you know, you get a bit jealous. Jealousy's healthy, I think. Is there any fighting in our uh, oh I don't think so. No, not this one. No, no, no drinking or fighting in this one. No. Or okay. swearing or anything. It's fairly, fairly clean. Okay. <laughs> just a bit gloomy. Just a bit, just a bit blue, yeah, which you'd expect yeah, a for blue. a blues song. Absolutely. You know. Okay. Yeah. Um, before KY, we had, we had um, Paint the Town Blue. Yeah, that's that was a brilliant yeah. song. Yeah. I liked that. Wow, that was awesome. It was depression. It was depressing, and then it was like really nice, and you just sit down, and then that Made in Leicester advert come on. Yeah, with some loud guy. Yeah, yeah, it just absolutely yeah, it smashed it. it. <laughs> yeah, it smashed it. Anyway, do you want to get ready for your song? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay, when you're ready. Well, the, yeah, it's called um, I don't want nobody talking to you. Thank you. Talking to you 
Well, be it your mother, your sister, or even your friends. I put them six feet on the ground. Now don't you try fooling me. I got a bullet with your name. Well, don't you try fooling me. I got a bullet, a bullet with your name. Well, if you try and put me down, I'll blow you out like a match's flame. Devil, you know. Well, it won't be long until you're gone, babe. You got thirteen steps to go. Well, it won't be long until you're gone, babe. You got thirteen steps to go. steps to go Leicester All Stars This is KY Hi, I'm Molly from Stent You're locked into Takeover Radio Leicester's biggest radio station Mate, in Leicester Hey, we're back in the studio Yeah, that song that you just did was absolutely brilliant Thank you it was. Absolutely brilliant It was like And it was like you got a smashing voice on you Like, where where'd you get it from? Do you, do you have a musical back? Would you say you've got a musical background? No, not at all, no, no no one in my family, you know, you, you meet these people and they're kind of, their family was all into music and stuff and and I just wasn't, I just wasn't like that for me, you know, like none of my parents or grandparents or anything, they weren't really into music, you know, they listened to it and stuff but no one well, plays in, an instrument or anything. So. Okay. Have you always wanted to be an artist? I just like being the centre of attention <laughs> and playing guitar on stage kind yeah. of. Yeah. That kind of boosts the ego a little bit, you know. Not that I nearly need much help with that. But. Oh, okay. Um, have you, um, you know, because you're an artist, what would you say is like the highlights of being one? I, I kind of, I just get a real kick out of, uh, out of playing on stage, you know, and, and seeing people appreciate what I've worked really hard to achieve. You know, I've been doing this a long time, and, and to finally start getting somewhere and coming on with you guys and that you know it's it's, it's such a buzz because it's actually it's actually moving forwards you know it's not 10 years wasted okay <laughs> um can you play any other instruments apart from a guitar yeah yeah i uh mandolin big mandolin fan although it has been sat in a case for a while and so maybe i should dig that out again i played a bit of bass in a band a couple of years ago called brown sugar um, we weren't that great. Uh, um, I could imagine. Is is mandolin a bluesy type of instrument? Yeah, kind of is blues it? grass. Uh, kind of what is a mandolin? Yeah. I sound a bit dumb saying that. Oh, right. What is it? What does it look like? What is a mandolin? It's like a eight stringed. It's kind of like the size of a ukulele, but a round body, it's and it's a got small little thing. It's got eight strings on it, and oh, yeah, it sounds it sounds quite nice, but they're uh, they go out of tune quite frequently, oh. you know. 
it's a bit of a bit of a pain to play on stage. Maybe it's because mine's cheap. I don't know. <laughs> I imagine it'd be quite entertaining though watching you play in such a thing. Yeah, yeah. I got big fingers as well, you know, and the frets are real tiny on it. Mm-hmm. So so I do a Rory Gallagher quite, song. Quite called. painful to listen to. Then. Sorry. Quite painful to listen. <laughs> to. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bleeding fingers, you know. <laughs> after so, I mean, that's one thing that I uh, that I do that I like that I remember about the gig that I saw at Foo Bar. Yeah. Um, but I like you say your music is bluesy and quite uh, you know a lot of it is um, quite close to the heart and, yeah. and possibly about negative oh well it's all um, real it's everything yeah. all the songs are quite about real situations sometimes. yeah but powerful a lot of them and, yeah. have like a, a humorous edge to them though don't they well if you can't laugh at yourself yeah. who can you laugh at you know you've got to be able to have a laugh yeah. exactly. it's either laugh or cry half the time yeah. okay yeah. anyway Kevin it is time for the quiz of doom Oh my word! Oh, oh Chris is doing. Well done. Yeah, I'm about to say you need to forget. <laughs> yeah. Forgot then. Yeah, spooky okay. sound effects. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. This is the point of the show where you, Stu, right. have to answer. You have to ask either me or Kevin as many questions you can in 30 seconds. Wow. Well, I wasn't prepared for this. Okay. That's the whole point. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can ask. Can anything. I, well, I go. I go now. Yeah. What, as practice? Yeah, well, I don't need practice. I'll ask you some questions. Okay, then, but you get to pick if you ask either me or Kevin. All right, okay. I'll ask, and I'll ask, can I ask one each? Do it alternately. Mm, that wouldn't be fair on the other people. Oh, would it not? No, that's true. All oh, right. Paul, it's... Go, yeah, who, well, who's I'll... that? The daydream lot? Yeah, I think somebody's at the door, Mark. Okay, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> great, he'll have to do... He'll have Another to... sound effect, you know. <laughs> Money's no object. Yeah. yeah. Great, he'll have to... He'll have to have ask me some questions now anyway yeah as I said you can ask me as many questions as you can in 30 seconds alright um, and if I say maybe right. yeah that still counts maybe still maybe still counts as what like if I say maybe yeah like I, I, or I don't know yeah or something like that that still counts right okay as a question okay are you ready I'm ready okay your 30 seconds start from <laughs> now Name three blues artists. Um, um, Justin Bieber, Jesse J, and and, and you? Justin Bieber's a blues artist. Oh, I don't. I just said anyone. Anyway. Right, what letter comes after S in the alphabet? A B C D. I don't know. Uh, D. No, no. Okay. Uh, are are zebras black with white stripes or white with black white and stripes? black? Uh, what stripes are they? Black stripes or white stripes? Black and white and black. Yeah. White, white, white with black stripes. Yeah. Okay, it's good. We need to count down time a ticking along here. Okay, yeah. keep going. You've got uh, five more seconds. Quick. Five more seconds. Okay. Uh, do you drink tea or coffee? How do you like coffee. Your tea or coffee? Uh, you milky. Like it? Milky. Okay, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <sighs> eight questions. Eight questions. You were supposed to be. Yeah, drum roll, please. Twenty-three. 23 questions. Yeah, wow. but oh, well, at least you beat John Fryer. He only got four. Oh, yeah, they must have been really in depth questions. Yeah, though, yeah. He, yeah, it was yeah, really hard. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you did really good. You got eight. Oh, wow. Sadly, you're not second place because to become second place, you had to be. Yeah, drum roll. 14. 14. I don't know how people ask so many questions. You know? yeah. Maybe they talk real fast. Yeah, they do, like, really, really fast. Yeah, anyway. Their questions were quite easy, weren't they? Yeah. Like, oh, what no. What comes after one? What comes after no. two? That's no. 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 Oh, no. Right. no. I, I like to think I thought about it a little bit more. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. The zebra one was a ponderer, though. I mean. What was it? What was the answer? Well, that's, that's it's a philosophical question. Are they black with white stripes? Oh, or white it depends, with black don't stripes? it? Yeah. Well, that's it. Yeah. That's okay. It. <laughs> anyway, it's been absolutely great having you on the show. Would yeah, you thanks. like to plug anything like your? Amazing yeah. Gigs yeah. I'd, I'd do a big plug. Yeah. Uh, you can go on Facebook and find the Bobcats. That's the that's the blues band, um, uh, Bobcats Blues Band on Facebook. Uh, we've got some real good gigs coming up as well, which would be nice to get some people down to. Uh, yeah, you got the relaunch of the Looking Glass. Yeah, the 15th yeah, the fifteenth of November. No, next Friday. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Is that free then? Cause that's that's a free entry gig. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Downstairs, the bar downstairs is going to be heaving. So. I mean, that'll be a really good crack. Yeah, I'm definitely going along to that one. Yeah, well, I hope so, yeah. 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 I'll hold you to that as well, you know, if you don't yeah, you turn do. up then. <laughs> You've got a few other... Oh, Glaston Budget Audition yeah. coming up as well. Yeah, 29th at the Shed, yeah. Nice um, I see you're also playing with uh, Father Ted, who do 70s classic rock. 
Wow, I didn't know that, but <laughs> no. thanks for informing me. I had nothing better than Quite some not. 70s rock. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not a competition or anything, so you don't have to compete. Well, there is no competition. No, that's right. Yeah. It's, it's the Bobcats, you know. There is no competition. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we got the 3rd of December at the Donkey on Welford Road, um, which would be another free gig with a couple of other bands. The Dirty G's, I think, are playing oh. As Brilliant well, so band, aren't they? yeah, well, they're fantastic. Yeah. I've heard a, I've heard a bit of their stuff, and they're really good. So, Perfect. but yeah, come down. You know, it's all good stuff. Uh, you can download my solo EP, uh, Stu Crown and the Bobcats, on Bandcamp. Um, there's an EP called Life that I recorded. Oh yes, with Mary Everett producing, and oh, um, that is awesome. That really thanks. is. Thanks, yeah, thanks so very much. Recorded really well as well. Yeah, yeah. I don't, you shouldn't say that though, because they inflate the size of her head, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, just you know, download that. I think it's like three pounds for a digital download, so it's not much pocket money. Mm. Um, yeah, I think that's it, really. You know, I mean, just like us on Facebook and drop us a message. You know, we'll always reply. Okay, anyway, it's been absolutely great having you on the show. Make sure you keep in touch with Kevin yeah, of course, for yeah. future references. I've got to I gotta say hi to my sister, who's in Paris, listening okay. on the internet. So, hi, sister. Bonjour. It's, it's me. Bonjour Sydney, and some in, some in. Yeah. I was going to say guten tag then, but that's, that's German. German. <laughs> yeah, that's German. We're well, close enough. You know. Yeah, close, close enough. enough. There's still, like, different languages, so, yeah, yeah it's all the same. It's Leicester's Europe. Takeover <laughs> Radio. Takeover if you love music, you love, love Takeover. information on this artist visit takeoverradio.com forward slash made in leicester